Great, welcome back to grade eight math. We are now looking at chapter 4.4, .4, which is uh, how to make problems easier by looking at simpler problems. By taking a, a more complicated example and uh, finding an easier way of solving it by going down to the easiest layer. So let's take a look at this problem. At a historical site, there are these cannonballs that are stacked in a rectangular pyramid. The top layer of the pyramid has only three cannonballs arranged in one row. The second layer has a two by four arrangement. If this pattern continues, how many cannonballs are there in the ninth layer? This is a really tricky example because you do have to imagine in your head, similar to the golf balls in the other example, how many, um, how many cannonballs would there be in each layer? So by making this problem simpler, we look at layer one first. So if we look at the first layer, then we can extrapolate later and find the ninth layer. So if we just make our table of values here, and let's go all the way to the ninth layer, but let's start with layer one and what we know of this layer. So first of all, uh, what we could do is we look at the dimensions of the layer and see how, how it's laid out. And then we'll look at the number of cannonballs that are found in that layer and see if we can find a pattern there. So we start with the first row here this first layer of cannonballs is one row times three cannonballs in that row so that's a total of three cannonballs in that first row let's look at the second row i have two cannonballs wide by four cannonballs um, in length so i have a two by four rectangle of cannonballs. This is a total of eight cannonballs. Well, let's continue with the third layer. Now we're going to have to imagine it. And what I want you to do is pause the video and try to see if you could find out which, what would be the dimensions of the third layer and then how many cannonballs would be in that third layer. After you've, after you've paused the video, you can see what happens is a cannonball is always found in the gaps in between each of the two uh, of the cannonballs just above it, just like in the golf ball example. So the third layer of cannonballs would be a three by five layer of cannonballs, which is a total of 15. Let's just get rid of this. Where did these boxes come from? Okay, great. So if we continue this pattern, we could see a pattern in the dimensions that the width of the cannonball uh, row will always be equal to the layer number, so it's n. The second number will always be two times two numbers more than that, so three times five, four times six, five times seven. So it's always two numbers more than that. And the number of cannonballs, let's see if we can find a pattern there. Well, we have 3, 8, and 8 to 15. So 3 to 8 is plus 5. Then 8 to 15 is plus 7. Uh, so if I continue this trend, I would predict that this one is plus 9. Because the down rule would be start at 3 and add 5, and then the add the next odd number afterwards. So plus 9 would be 24. And then if I continue adding on plus 11, is 35 or I could use the across rules as well 6 times 8 is 48 7 times 9 is 63 8 times 10 is 80 and 9 times 11 is 99 so I predict that if this pattern continues there will be 99 cannonballs in the ninth layer now here is the little tricky one for you. So we came up with a down rule. The down rule was uh, start at three and add five and then add the next higher odd number after that to find the down rule for the number of cannonballs. We also found a down rule for the dimensions. Start at one, uh, uh, start at one and add one each time or the layer number times the layer number plus two. And so that will give you the across rule. So if we look at this for any layer n, 
and I'd like you to pause the video and try to figure out what would be the across rule dimensions of uh, for that number. And if you take a look, so n is the same number as the first row times, and then the second, uh, the length of the layer would be n plus 2. So my number of cannonballs would be n times n plus 2 or n squared plus 2n. This is a little bit trickier, but this is the one that you should uh, be able to uh, get with that general rule, n times n plus 2. So there's a couple of other trickier examples that you'll be looking at in the rest of this section. So hopefully you looked at this. Let's just review that when you're given a more complicated problem by looking at the ninth layer, for example, or it could be the twelfth figure, or it could be the uh, the twentieth figure, what you want to do is look at any patterns that are uh, that start with layer 1 or the first figure make it as simple as possible, move to the second figure, and see then if you can find a pattern. Given that pattern, you can create a table of values or find a down rule or an across rule to be able to find for the figure number that you're looking for. Some of the examples are a little bit easier than others, but there are some trickier ones in the textbook. So hopefully,